It is a great pleasure. By the way, my name is Jim Ozarski. I'm the city clerk for the city of Milwaukee. And as I was sharing with my staff as uh, we, were, we were starting today, this is the happy stuff I get to do. Uh, sometimes in my line of work, you, uh, you get to deliver bad news, and you have to deliver bad news. Well, sometimes you get to be here at a an occasion like this and deliver the best news and be with someone on a very special day, which is really a high point for them. And so I, I got asked the specific question, do I ever get tired of doing it? And I said, no, I'm never tired of the happy stuff. Um, so it's great to be here. It was the request of our special guest today that we would begin our uh, gathering with an invocation. So it is my pleasure to, uh, to invite for that purpose, <laughs> excuse me, Minister Charlie Maxwell. Maybe bow our heads in prayer, please. Father God, we thank you for this time, Father God. We thank you for this moment of our city, Father God, as history is made, Father God. Father God, we pray, Father God, that you bless the person who is getting into this position, Father God. God, we ask that you bless our city as well, Father God. God, we just thank you for this joyous occasion, Father God. And we pray that you are in the midst, Father God, every day. God, we thank you, Father God, and we love you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for that. And uh, with that, making sure I've done everything right on my oath form, it's my great pleasure to call forward Jackie Q. Carter. <laughs> Last chance. <laughs> Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Jackie Q. Carter. I, Jackie Q. Carter. Have been appointed. You have been appointed. Municipal Court Director. Municipal Court Director. Swear that I will support. Swear that I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully discharge. And will faithfully discharge. The duties of this office. The duties of this office. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. I think I was okay until today. And then I was like, I probably should have packed some Kleenex. Um, so I wanna thank everybody for being here. Um, this day doesn't happen without the support and love of the people in this room. And so I want you to know I appreciate you. Um, but I think if you know me, you know that I probably could have done without this part, right? Um, we could have done the oath over the phone as <laughs> was, was an option given, but I knew because of the, the historic nature of this moment, it was necessary to do some type of pomp and circumstance. And so I am honored to have been um, asked to serve by Mayor Johnson. Um, I don't take my role in service lightly. Um, I want to thank the folks from the treasurer's office. I always tell them, and I tell anybody wherever I go, my foundation in public service started with the treasurer's office. And I know that a lot of the things that I know and do well is because of the things that I learned there. So I thank you all for, for sharing with me today. I also want to thank the, uh, the budget office where they gave me the opportunity to spread my wings and to learn things that, how, how all the things come together. So I always tell the story of the treasurer's office showed me how to get the money. The budget office showed me why we needed it. And so the port, now I get to manage it and show the city, uh, you know, the importance of our resources and why we need to um, operate in the way that we do. And I have to thank the team at the port. Um, I know it's not always easy when you have somebody to come up in the ranks and take leadership, but they have been so supportive from day one. And so I appreciate you all for being here. Um, and I, you know, I was trying to think like, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? And 
there was a line in a rap song that just kept coming to me, and it, it was Notorious B.I.G. when he said it was all a dream. Well, he was reading Word Up magazine. I was reading Essence. And I remember seeing so many times in the pages where there were women who were doing first or women who were doing something extraordinary. And never did I imagine that my name would be part of history. And so I thank you all, but there is no dream for Jackie Q. Carter without Eddie Carter. So I like to call us the dream team because if I envision it, he makes it happen. And so he's been behind me um, from the very beginning, from every paper that I had to write to get through school in order to even be able to qualify for, for the things that I've walked into. And whatever I ask him to do, whatever I say I want to do, if I'm doubting, he's, he's very sure. And so I'm grateful to you um, for all your support. And this is not possible today without God. And so I'm, I'm grateful for what he's given me, what he's placed inside of me. And as I take the oath or taking the oath, my promise is to walk in all that he has made me and to be authentic and true to who I am. So I thank you all for being here. And stop crying. <laughs>